Purito sunscreen controversy. Oh no. My kids are sleeping upstairs, so I couldn't scream too, um, too much for that. But I know a lot of you probably were screaming, looking at your phones with a lot of unopened boxes of Purito unscented Centella sunscreen that I did recommend. And you guys put your trust in me. And I put my trust into the whole process of how they made this sun sunscreen. So I was also kind of like scratching my head like, hmm, is this legit? Is this real? Hey guys, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Uh, wanted to do a video, a uh, pretty last minute video, just from all the buzz that's been going on. Um, thank you for watching my Purito Unscented Centella review video, but things have changed since I released that a few months ago or several weeks ago. And a lot of you have uh, on social media, on my Instagram, have tagged me on the new uh, posts about the SPF controversy behind Purito Centella's. Um, you know SPF labeling so it's uh, SPF 50 plus is what the label shows uh, they also have other uh, products here that um, I haven't tried yet but I was gonna try but I have tried the SPF 50 plus Centella sunscreen and I gave it a good review I thought it was a really nice sunscreen I did mention in that video that I was surprised that was only two UV filters, uh, Uvinyl A and Uvinyl T. I'm not familiar with these products as an American dermatologist. It's not a UV filters that are uh, officially approved uh, by our FDA, which treats uh, sunscreens as medications. Um, so this was all uh, news to me, and thank you for tagging me also on uh, also here on YouTube. Uh, but I just wanted to chat really quick on my first reaction. So SPF 50 plus very attractive we want things to be spf 30 and above well, if we go back to that chart here i'll put it here the chart that you spf chart things plateau after spf 30 and there's very little um there's very little change so that's why we say after spf 30 not much of a difference and so we say get at least uh, get a sunscreen with at least spf 30. Um, there are other studies that have shown that SPF 100 does do does give additional benefits, um, which we can talk about in another video. But in terms of the SPF 30 versus 19, I think there's a di big difference. I know people on social media are saying, "Oh, there's no not a big difference between um, you know the amount of UV rays that are blocked." So if you look at SPF 15, 93 percent of UV rays blocked versus uh, 97 percent. I think that's what it is for um, of UVB is blocked for um, SPF 30. So people can say, ah, that little percentage, not a big deal. But if you look at it, at the chart, how much photons are actually blocked versus not blocked, um, you can say 7% of photons are going onto your skin with an SPF 15 versus 3% on hitting your skin with SPF 30. That's double the amount you're getting with an SPF 15. So if you get 100 photons, say theoretically shining on your skin, seven will hit your skin and cause damage. UVB will cause burn. So SPF, we always talk about UVB and the testing behind SPF goes, um, is related to UVB uh, energy, the uh, UVB energy. So, um, and if you have SPF 30 on, the skin might only be getting three photons uh, exposed. I think that is significant. Plus the other thing is when we apply our sunscreen, majority of us, I'd say probably over 90% of us are not applying enough sunscreen too. So say you put an SPF 30 on, it's probably gonna be like an SPF 15, okay? If you put an SPF 19 on, you might get an SPF seven on your skin if you're not putting enough on. So we always say half a teaspoon amount uh, or quarter dollop onto your face and neck. Don't forget your ears as well. Shot glass amount for your body and um, you know, we underestimate that. Plus our sunscreens are so expensive, $36 for a 1.7 ounce fluid ounce bottle of sunscreen. You're gonna burn through that real quick if you're using that on your entire body. So those really nice sunscreens that I review here, the $36 ones, primarily I use for my face and I use the other ones for my body that are more affordable, larger size, so a little bit more reasonable economically. I always wanna make sure that my products here are unbiased reviews and I will let you know uh, if I am um, sponsored in any way. But in terms of this product, I bought it with my own money and I tried it out and I really liked it. But in terms of the SPF, uh, if it is 19, I'm gonna be disappointed. If you look at the um, 
reports behind this. They did do in vitro and in vivo studies. So in vitro meaning not human. They're just using maybe just a strip with some light shining onto it and they study it that way. Versus in vivo, it usually involves 10 to 15 human subjects, which is very expensive, time consuming, can take multiple days because you have to shine light on to non um, non protected skin and also protected skin with the SPF sunscreen cream on. Uh, they're testing um, uh, that they claimed the SPF 19 from was you had 10 subjects. They're all women, ages 20s to 60 years of age. Uh, they had a you know, mean SPF of 19, and um, you know that 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 right there is a it was big news because the, the founder of this company did. Um, come out with the report and was transparent with it and released the, this data. In terms of Purito, they had responded and I, when I made that update on my, um, my YouTube video review, uh, Dr. Sugai Reviews video, I did say hold off on purchasing this sunscreen until we hear more. Well, since I made that update, Purito did make a official statement on their Instagram. I did read it. And they did mention that they um, went through a trusted manufacturer. They had the KFDA or the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety uh, in Korea to finally approve it. And I was looking at the KFDA website and it takes 60 days uh, reviewing their data, their methods, and making sure that they've done everything correctly before giving its stamp of approval. So it's uh, they said they went through all of the, the you know, all of the proper procedures to come out with this uh, sunscreen with only two UV filters and, um, you know, at a, a low percentage, supposedly. I'm not familiar with the with these products or with these ingredients, uh, truly. So supposedly that these percentages were are low um, relative to other uh, sunscreens. So um, this is, uh, they're going to do, Purito did say they're going to do further testing. They're going to halt sales on all the other um sunscreens as well. So we'll see what they say about this additional testing and then we're probably going to do in vitro and in, vivo and in vivo testing and we can talk about it in a separate uh, YouTube video on uh, the SPF. Uh, how do we get to an SPF and also how do we get to the PA system, the, the Japanese uh, cosmetic system. That's what uh, Purito had mentioned that they are uh, PA 4 plus SPF 50 plus sunscreen. In terms of the SPF, though, that is related to UVB energy. We're, we're ruling out or we're measuring the MED or the minimal erythema dose. And we're looking at the MED for protected skin and non protected skin and coming out with this number. The time to uh, of the time and energy to shine on your skin before you get reddening. UVB causes burns. UVB burns. UVA, more aging. And so tanning boots use that. And so UV um, A causes darkening of your skin. And so that's where the PA system comes in. And it, it's the time of which to make your skin uh, tanned. How much energy, how long does it take for that uh, UV, UVA to cause tanning of your skin? Okay, so just wanted to do a quick little video on that, that you know, SPF um, 15 to 30 may not seem like a big deal if you're looking at that chart, but if we're underestimating the amount of sunscreen you put on, that can make a big difference. And also if you look at it by the amount of photons that are hitting your skin from 15 to 30, it is twice as much of photons exp um, damaging your skin when you're using an SPF 15 versus a 30. All right, guys, so I hope this was uh, helpful and I'll see you for more videos. And yeah, if this is the biggest controversy that we're dealing with this week, then I think we're doing OK right now. You know, elections we just had last month and um, now we're going into um, COVID cases rising. I mean, if we're going to all get excited about this uh, SPF controversy, I think we're doing OK. All right. But uh, anyways, be safe in the meantime. Thank you guys for entering the giveaway and supporting my channel. And uh, please like the video. Please leave some comments and questions and we'll just keep each other updated on what unfolds. OK, peace. Mm -hmm.